Hello, I'm Danny Flex and welcome to the latest edition of Seconds Out Flex Expectations. We're here every Thursday at 4.30pm to look ahead to the boxing action of the weekend. And there's a couple of shows this weekend. One uh, take place in the US, which sees Gilberto Zerdo Ramirez um, coming back after a little absence, taking on Sully B, Sullivan Barrera. Um, and a good fight on the undercard with Jojo Diaz and Javier Fortuna. Um, that aside, there's a show on UK Shores also, Frank Warren promoting at the Royal Albert Hall. And it's a show, it's fair to say, I'm not going to shy away from it, that's drawn quite a lot of criticism um, on social media particularly. And it, I put the criticism to Frank Warren um, himself yesterday, and you'll see that um, today, his response to it may or may not be satisfied with that response. But for all the criticism, and I understand, you know, Anthony Yar's no longer on the show. Um, there's not many fights where you would give the B side, if that's what we're calling them, much of a chance to win. So it's a lack of competitive action um, that seems to be the main sticking point for most people. But what I would say is, and I like to focus on the positives, certainly in my professional life, um, is that you do get a chance to see some of the best young talent in British boxing. And for this vlog, I've decided to focus on them. Um, starting off, by no means least, with Dennis McCann, the 20-year-old bantamweight who's got a lot of people excited, not just his team at Frank Warren. Slick, fast, um, good footwork, someone who has been uh, catching the interest of the public at large on BT Sport. He's 9-0 and now, so not far off heading into championship class. Got a bit of stick for um, his team withdrawing him from purse bids to fight for the English title against Liam Davies. Didn't fancy that fight just yet. Um, maybe the, the kind of old boxing thinking that down the line it could be a bigger fight. I don't know. Um, but progressing well under Alan Smith at the um, iBox gym in Bromley. And he gets John Chua on Saturday night from Tanzania. Decent enough fighter. Durable. Um, has taken a distance by... Uh, or oh, sorry, been beaten over the distance by McCann's uh, big rival, if you like, Prince Patel. So you would assume McCann will be doing his level best to stop uh, Chua to kind of get some bragging rights there. But also, the, the main concern for me about McCann, and it's going to seem a bit strange because of what happened against Brett Fido, and we'll talk about that in a minute, is that he may not quite have his man strength yet at the age of 20. He looks quite slight as well whenever I've seen him. Um, and seems to struggle a bit in clinches. So I do have some worries about that physical strength, but he can clearly punch. Brett Fido, um, kind of be better than your average journeyman, got a really good win recently, and has only been stopped twice in something like 50 defeats. Um, and the other one of those was really late on in an eight-rounder um, against the arguably kind of European, maybe even world-class Andrew Selby, certainly a world-class amateur. And... Um, Somehow McCann got rid of him early with one of the best shots you're likely to see in the last couple of years. So really, really good result. So you can clearly dig a bit McCann. But in terms of kind of physical strength, wrestling on the inside, obviously that's not really his game anyway. But I think that might come in time. And maybe that's why they're slowly developing. They're waiting for his physical capabilities to catch up with his undoubted skill. Um, but I, I think he could impress and excite in equal measure against Chua at the weekend. You've also got Sam Noakes, who doesn't get probably as much publicity as he should. He was a very good amateur, only had a relatively short amateur career, but was banging people out for fun, even in the unpaid code with the bigger gloves, and at times in headgear. Uh, won a, an, an ABA title, amongst many other um, victories as, as an amateur. He's now, uh, I think he's 5-0 and um, as a pro. He's 23 years old. Um, another fighter from the iBox gym under Alan Smith and Eddie Lamb. Looked really good so far. Beat an unbeaten opponent last time out. This time around, um, I think he's got uh, Lee Connolly. I'll have to double check that. I think that's who he's fighting. Uh, again, very experienced journeyman. Rarely gets stopped. But Noakes is a banger. Um, exciting to watch as well. This is the other thing about this um, crop of talent. They're not just talented but they're entertaining as well, which is so important, um, especially now more than ever with all the different uh, competing TV uh, broadcasters for boxing. So yeah, Sam Noakes, well worth a watch. And then we've got a couple of 2-0 fighters also on the bill. Uh, Levi Frankham's on as well. 
I don't know as much about him as the other guys, which is why I'm not really talking too much about him, but just to, to give him his fair mention. Carol Itauma, youth Olympic gold medalist, still only 20 years old. Lives down the road from me. I'm in Snodland. He's in Chatham, um, trains in Maidstone. I went to see him at his gym above the bath store, um, which he proudly declared at the start of the interview, which we'll see. Um, he's 20 years old, very, very talented, long, lean, six foot one, light heavyweight. Um, looked good um, so far, especially in his second um, pro fight, he taking a distance on his debut, but really demolished his opponent in the second fight. And someone who doesn't get bowled over very often. Um, so look really good there. He's got another journeyman this weekend. So don't expect to see kind of competitive action, but he should be able to show a bit of what he can do. Economical, efficient, um, but really packs a punch explosive when he needs to be. <coughs> Excuse me. But yeah, very, very good amateur. Didn't um, do much. Uh, I don't even know if he had a senior fight, but very good junior amateur. Won everything pretty much there was to win at youth and junior level. I think he's won nine national titles and decided he didn't want to stick around, go for GB, go for the Olympics. He always wanted to turn pro and, and aim for a world title. Obviously, a, a long, long way to go for that yet. But, you know, he's he's 2-0 and and heading in the right direction. And the other 2-0 guy in kind of a, a very different background, and you can know more about Itama's background when you watch the uh, interview, is Muhammad Ali. He, with the famous name, um, still a, a young guy. I think he's 25 now. Um, but again, I'm, I'm not absolutely certain. Obviously, a former Olympian, GB rep, long time from Berry, um, trained. I think he started off in the same place as Amir Khan um, under Mick Jelly. Uh, very, very talented, got all the skills. He's fighting Lee Glover uh, this weekend, who's got a winning record as challenged for Midlands and English titles in the past. So we're obviously moving him relatively quickly. Um, he's had some, some issues that have stalled his career. He got um, a steroid ban. Um, at one point um, in the amateurs and then since turning pro obviously the pandemic's got in the way as well but now I think they want to move him a bit faster um, there's no reason at all why he can't move just as quickly and just as effectively as some of the other um, GB Olympians we've seen on the other side of the street if you like the ones that are affiliated with Matchroom Muhammad Ali um, despite the pressure of the name um, could really go places um, but he might be another one like a Joe Cordina, you know, very much uh, a style for the purist, perhaps, um, rather than getting involved in knockdown drag out brawls, um, but could have a style that could be very successful on the international scene and at world level. So he's worth keeping an eye on as well. So for all the criticism of Saturday's show, and as I've said, I understand um, a great deal of it. This is an opportunity to see some of the best young talent in UK boxing today. You know, they might not have the sort of name value of some of the fighters on the match room, previously Sky Sports, now the zone shows. Um, but in terms of pure talent and potential um, to impact on the world scene, they're every bit as good, if not better, than the young crop um, with their competitors. So I'd advise you all to tune in um, just to watch those guys, pick out your favourite early. And, and you know, it's, it's always great to see uh, burgeoning talent early in their careers then you can follow them all the way through uh, and then there's nothing more exciting than seeing someone you followed from the very start make it to the very top um, but yeah let me know what you think of the four guys I've discussed who out of the four has got the most potential to go to the very top and what do you like about them let me know in the comments below I'll be back on Monday for reflections looking back on um, both shows 4.30 p.m. and next week, Thursday, same time to look ahead to that week's action. Um, look forward to reading your comments and I'll see you all soon. Cheers.